Happy Friday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa with Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. Welcome, welcome. Today is Friday, yep. which means it is our Fab Furniture Friday. So we are going to crank out some pretties for you today. That's right. We um, So the team here at RHC already started painting these. So they actually have a base of casement on them, which is fusion. And it's a nice bright white. Um, but you know, plans change from when they start off sometimes. Yes, they do. You want to show them what we're kind of going around so here? So I was um, finishing up the dining set that you probably saw on our Wednesday ad for the shop. And I went ahead and reupholstered these seats with, uh, with this beautiful fabric, some wow, of the leftover we'll fabric that from that set. And so we are going to use these. These are the original cushions. They're just reupholstered. And um, we are, I did add some, some more batting to it, but we are gonna use these as seats. So we're gonna do a little bungalow blending today on dining room tables. Really, I wanna show you how you can use this technique to, um, especially if you're going kind of from dark, these were dark oak. Um, you know, you can, even, you can even actually see some of the graining in this. Uh, how you can use that blending technique to kind of eliminate the need for so many coats of paint. Right. Right. Um, especially if you're going to a brighter. So we're gonna go a little less bright, but we are gonna go ahead and get this done. By the way, anybody notice I got a new haircut? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I look like I just woke up from a haystack. Anyway. So <laughs> she's been here working all day. <laughs> Yesterday I was staging and then got my hair did. Got did, her did. And uh and, and here's my here's my fun secret on my hair, guys. Wait, ready? Ready, You're ready? Not gonna pull it off your head or something. You ready, right? ready, ready, ready? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Look, it's really a mohawk. Oh, cute! That's cute. So, it doesn't look like one, but now I look like I've got a customer over here who looks slightly horrified. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know, but Florida is really hot right now. Yes. And I seem to be pulling my hair back in ponytails pretty much every day because of the heat. So, I had her take a few inches off the back and, uh, finish shave, reshave in the sides so that if it's down, it actually looks like normal people hair versus, normal people hair. versus, I mean, let's face it. This is how much hair I have after she literally shaved a third of it off of my head. God. Okay. So, well, dang hair, woman. and I still have like tons of it. So anyway, so now I have normal people hair. So mm -hmm. maybe you'll actually see me do it once in a while. Today we are going to be using our Bungalow 47 chalk paint, which we love. It's got great coverage, no prep time needed. We've got everything prepped already though, like Melissa said. So what colors are we using today? So we're using five different colors. Because you know, nothing like some complication. Um, no, but it really but turns into really nice blending. And I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. So um, because this is casement um, and we wanna match that, we have, where'd my white go? We have farmhouse sink which is the brightest bright white, okay? And then we have Clawfoot Tub, which is my favorite, which is, so I'm gonna show you the difference. So this is Farmhouse Sink, this is Clawfoot Tub. So see, this is more of a creamy white. It's not yellow, but it's a creamy white. Mm -hmm. So I really like this, but we have already got casement on there, which is bright, so we need to soften that a little, and this will go really nicely with our chair cushions. And then we're gonna warm it up a little bit. Yep, and we're gonna warm it up a little bit with some Pebble Brook and Fire Pit. And so this one is a sort of a gray taupey, and this is sort of a brown taupey, okay? So it looks a little green over here, but that's because it's it's got the gray versus the brown, okay? And then, just to add some depth, we have Wood Beam, and Wood Beam is a nice dark brown. Okay, all of these colors are in that fabric. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna seamlessly blend these together using, we are, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna seamlessly blend these together using our amazing, what kind of brushes? Klingon brushes. Klingon, oh, and there were my glasses. because they basically clean themselves That's right. with a little help from you. That's right, so you just rinse them till they're clear so the water runs clear and then you throw them in water and the rest of the paint will come Wonderful. out of the ferrule and out of the brushes and just drip into the bottom of your bucket. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And of course, a handy dandy Mr. Water Bottle. Yes. Hey, Mr. All right. Hey, that's so, me. That's me. 
Hey, Mr. Mister. Okay, so uh, I see we got a lot of people on today. Happy to see you. Hi, Connie. Hi, Nicole. Um, and then the other Nicole. So good to see you. Um, if I've missed anybody, because I, I can see there's a big number, but I can't see who everybody is. So good to see you. We're going to get started. All right, so okay. let's start with a little bit of a wet, dry brush. Yeah, on so these she's chairs. going to get started on these chairs. I'm actually going to give a little bit of sand to this table, and that's because um, when this was painted, and there's not that anything was wrong with it, but this is that oak, like I said, and it kind of raises the green to be painted. So I just have a 220 um, little foam sanding pad, and I'm just going to give it a light sand. Well, the cotton says your eyes look gorgeous today. Thank you. It's the red hair again. It's a, they deepen my red, so the eyes look more blue when the red is. Your alien blue eyes are popping. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure she says the alien blue eyes because of a hilarious joke from when the kids were little. Lily was uh, less than a year old, I think, or maybe right around a year old. And we told Paige, because I love Paige, but she's a little gullible <laughs> and always has been. And still is. Aww. And so we told her when she was little that um, anybody with blue eyes were aliens. Oh dear. And this was at the dining room table. Nice. And we that were, was her little reaction? We were, of course, joking, but again with the gullible. It's fun to mess with kids. It really is sometimes. And this was John's doing, but it was a present. And it counted for her. So she looked at me. Already. So she looked at me and my blue eyes, and she looked at her little sister, who also has blue eyes, and immediately began to cry because she didn't want her mom and her sister to be aliens. Aww. How sweet is that? And pretty naive. Pretty naive. Okay, so I'm just going to get myself a little more rubber in here. And I'm going to start off by misting my table pretty nicely. I mean, I don't want it wet, but I don't want it dry. Okay, and I'm actually gonna move right into, I guess I'll start with the Clawfoot Tub, which is the next lighter color. Right, yeah, we use that a lot. That's a nice, pretty color. Yeah, it's my favorite. And I'm, and I'm really gonna, um, I'm gonna try and keep these strokes relatively straight. Sometimes I do cross hatchy, and that would work on this, but because this is a dining room table, and we tend to like the look of wood grain on dining room tables, even if it's not what we're going for. Right. Um, I'm going to try and keep these in a relative straight line. Now, we're not going to worry about the apron, which is the side here and the base. This is a beautiful clawfoot um, table. Yeah, that's a nice, it's got a lot of neat etching and detail. It's really pretty. Jessica says your hair is awesome. Thank you. Is Jessica in the building today? She has been here all day. Her hair is? looks pretty too. What is this? You guys get your hair done, and I come in here looking like I. Yeah, she got her hair done yesterday too. Didn't fell she? off the turnip truck. It's gonna come up with several more phrases like that. <laughs> so notice that I'm just doing sort of some random, but nice big long strokes. I had already misted the whole table. Yeah, and I'm just kind of doing a thick dry brush of this color. Um, the pebble brook and then we'll kind of go over it again with a little fire pit and sort of blend somewhat we're just trying to get some subtle colors together that will help complement this fabric and the great thing is the chairs and the table don't have to be super matchy matchy as long as they're roughly the same color pattern right and I so on matchy matchy anyway i do too yeah and you'll notice that in our staging that we are not typically very matchy, -matchy. Yeah. and people like that it's just it makes it look more neat Okay, so now I've added a fair amount of the clawfoot tub. So I'm going to give a little more mist because I soaked up a lot of that water when I was laying that mist or laying that clawfoot. Laying that mist. Laying it. So I'm actually going to go with the darkest color that we have now for this project, which is wood beam. There you go, Nicole. That's what we're looking at. That's gorgeous fabric. It's going to look really good together, don't you think? Why don't you get it going? Okay. So I'm going to go with the wood beam now. Now this is going to be a stark contrast, and it's going to get super streaky, okay? And I know that. I can't watch. The key to, yeah. I can't look. The key to blending is that it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm not looking. 
okay? Close my eyes. It's gonna reaction. get worse before it gets better. I know, and she knows, that midway through, almost until the very end, this is gonna look like a hot mess. It's like the ugly duckling. It yes. really is, it's the ugly duckling. It's, you know, you see the cute little chicks and then they molt all their, all their pretty little soft down off and they look like, that? and they look horrible until they get all their pretty feathers in, right? We're kind of gonna go into that molting phase, okay? Oh, okay. I trust you though. It always turns out, it always turns out nice. So who do we have watching today? What are your big plans for the weekend? Wait till you see what we're doing next Friday on our Fab Furniture Friday, which we we're gonna maybe do today, but yeah, but we just like gotta time got away. Yeah, gotta do a little more prepping for that piece. But you're gonna love it. And I kind of got stuck staging this week. I shouldn't say get stuck. I love staging, but but it's not usually my job anyway. Right. Um, so that kind of took me away. So you know you need more water when your paint drags. Yes. Your brush starts to drag. It doesn't feel like it's smoothly gliding. You need more water. And so where people mess up with this technique, or they mess up with the product in general, because Lily told me maybe bungalow isn't a starter paint. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I haven't had any problem, but I'm not a starter, right? Right. So I know how my brush should feel. And it needs to glide. Okay? So if your brush isn't gliding, it means you need more water. If it's kind of, if it feels thick, basically, we're going to need to add Yeah, you'll feel that pull, and you'll know that it's time to thin it out a little bit. Those jugs um, popping in. Hello, hello. And it's okay that some areas are darker than others. We want that, okay? Yeah, this is the part where I get freaked out a little bit. I'm just gonna look away. Yeah, because it's like, it looks like a hot mess right now. I'm just gonna turn just a little bit more so you can see, because I moved the table a little bit. I don't want to lose Teresa, so just go back. I'm just gonna hide back here from the bed here. There we go. It's all good. So, so you can see it's, <laughs> we need to get you a step, step stool, an to, apple box. Just don't want to. Where's that little blue table? Oh, it's, it's in there. Oh, oh, it's in there. Oh, no, it's in there. Over here. Oh, all right, let's do that. You want to set it up over here? Do you want to do it over there? Fire pit? You certainly can. Certainly can. Is we that certainly can. If you want to, Miss Sue, that would be wonderful. I can. Absolutely. If we certainly can, I am can. just <laughs> sure. <laughs> I am. Did you guys see the uh, t-shirt we uploaded? We're working on some others. Yes, we are. We have the I'm just I'm just whack some chickens man coming up right. next. Put you right over here. I just couldn't uh, for whatever reason upload it to the website. And we already have our funky gold patina. That's right. Funky gold patina. I was at my hairdresser's yesterday, and I shared that with her. And she, she happens to be Lily's hairdresser too. Oh yeah? So we had a huge laugh over the waxing chickens fan. Uh -huh. yeah. I wear that every day. Nicole says, is it going to be like a wood grain when you're finished? It's kind of going to be like a wood grain. And then she gets the fun of going to a shower this weekend with her cupcakes and pies. Ooh, nice. I'm following you wherever you're going yeah, with cupcakes right? and pies. Absolutely. I could say I know the bride. <laughs> I'll know anybody if they're offering me some cupcakes and pie. Well, that sounds fun. Now, do you make those? Or are you, I would imagine you're making them. She is a decorator of cupcakes and cakes. Well, then she's absolutely making them. I've already invited her to come teach a class because we really want to learn. That would be phenomenal. How fun would that be? That would be so fun. That would be a fun class. It would, could, that would. You could learn and eat, and I like learning and eating. I like them both, too. They go so well together. They really do. I feel like I learned so much better while I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit so we can get both of you in here. So oh, they moved. I think Melissa's is going to need more just so we can get a good shot of her. Are you seeing kind of how this is starting to blend? 
take my one. I'm going to do just two chairs today. I'll let this one dry a little bit while I do the she same thing. She says they could be wedding crashers for the cake. That's right. Heck yeah. I'm in. <laughs> we're not here for the, for the wedding. We're just here for, just here for the cake. food. Nope, I'm totally in. We'll just pretend to be cake. We'll just pretend to be servers or something. Okay, no issue with that. We'll seat. work for cake. Come on it. Oh, well, there's another one. There's another one. Let's not use that. You take that one. I I can move. All right. I'll go grab the other. One. It was helpful. Right Notice how I just kind of keep my brush moving, right? So I can go over these edges, and then I just kind of come up. I just keep my brush moving, right? How are you guys feeling about it? I'm feeling it. All right, I'm not terrified anymore. Honestly, that didn't take too long to make me not want to not look at it. Wait, is that? I just use a double negative. Ew! I think I did. Your rest, the rest of your face was more red, and now no, it's just, oh, that's, well, yeah, the rest because you're looking, gone. you're looking particularly pasty today, except for your nose. The rest of my sunburn's <laughs> gone, but I my think nose, I got a second degree burn. Oh my goodness! What are we doing this weekend? Working. Hold well, on, taking my mom home this weekend back down. I'll be gone this weekend. I am working tomorrow, so come on in and see me in the store. Yeah. So now I've used fire pit. Um, wood beam and clawfoot tub. So I still don't have the topi that she's working with. Which we might need another one of these because there's not is, a fresh one. How much is it? Remember what is it? It is it is pebble brush. Pebble brush. And I still have to add some farmhouse seam, which is our bright white. And I'm really gonna add that back at the end because remember we're gonna keep the base as a bright white, that, so that way that will really blend in and keep that brightness developed. Yeah, because again, ultimately we're trying to complement these cushions, which right. are fantastical. Right. Well, I'm just going to steal a little of your... You go, girl. Miss Sue's getting us another one. I'm going to just dip into a little bit of her pebble brook. And what I'm doing is I'm going to actually kind of go over some of these darker areas and blind it into the lighter areas. Thanks, Thank you, darling. Service with a song. You know. Can't promise it every time you come in the store, but we certainly do try. Okay, I think you are not using water. I, you're right, that does smell like alcohol. Yeah. There you go. Which explains why it suddenly wasn't good. That is alcohol. Yeah. Just caught a whiff of that. We're okay, folks. Ooh. Let's get this one off the table. <laughs> I think we were using that to clean things and then. That is pungent. I mean, regardless of the fact that it says alcohol, we have all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it was like 91%. Well, yeah. It's not there. And I'm going to add a little bit of the coffee to back. so well to to sort of eliminate the need for multiple coats is because the streakiness sort of becomes a natural part of it. Yes. So if you see something of the grain underneath, it doesn't bother you because it just looks like it's part of the piece. Like an intentional bit of the piece. Right. The water keeps it moving nice and slowly. And I want you to see where I've added, I'm just gonna bring the camera over real quick. I want you to see where I just added some of the, the more gray, the cooler tone to our warm tones. 
See how it, it creates a nice balance for all of that. I'd like my hand back, thank you. How are we looking? I got everybody or am I more on that door? Mm, you're more on the door. We don't want to be yeah. on that door. Everybody's coming you know, through that door. Really we have a lovely like, door. Kind of look around the side. I could, but then my big old nose will get in there. addition to anybody's home, the fabric, I'm telling you, this it, I predict this is going to go quick. Super quick. It's a nice size. It is. It's, a, it's not super huge. It's easy four-seater. I believe it has a, it doesn't have a, uh, a leaf, right? It's, it's just a front. It's a, yeah. it's a At one point, point in time, it had a leaf, and that leaf has disappeared over some point in time. Uh, understand how that happens. Well, I think the skirt got broken on it, so everything got tossed. I believe. We're going to go with that, Miss Sue. Well, this wasn't ours. This was a piece I bought. Oh, okay. So this was not a staging. Table. It's just similar to a table we have. It's similar to several tables we have. But I think that one's dark black, the one you're thinking of. Yay, John Boy's got our lunch. Yeah, we get to eat afterwards. Thank you, Johnny. Speaking of food. Thank you. Food. I don't know, we were talking about cupcakes earlier. We were talking about food. When is Sue not talking about food? She's always hungry. When Sue says we'll work for food, she literally means it. Yep. You need your house moved? Just buy me food. Just buy me some food. But it's gotta be something other than pizza because I don't. I'm she not doesn't really pizza. like pizza. I was gonna say I don't see you eating much pizza still. So. Barbecue though. Mmm, I used to try barbecue. Pork. Pizza. Anything pork. Well, who doesn't like a good piece of pork? Heather. Oh, oh well. She Mine is the resident vegan. vegan. I bet she. She has the good substitutes though. So again, I'm just going to add some light back in. If I feel like it starts getting too dark, I just add some light back. See how that works? They're nice colors together too, and they're all nice neutrals. Bless you. Are you using two different brushes for your lights? I am dark? not. I am using Whoa. everything on the exact same Whoa, brush. Oh, lady, don't, be, don't be contaminating the paint, man. I'm not. I'm barely dipping it in the paint. It's just my end, and I'm not because of... When I say just the end, I'm like, here, I'm here. it's very little. When I say I'm adding just the end, let me be clear. Just the teeny tiny kind of end. I turn this light down. Just the tip. Just the tip. It's literally just that tiny bit of paint. See, just the just the little teeny tiny tips there. All of this is the blended stuff. And if I start getting um, where my color gets muddy, then I then I um, just use a towel and I and I just pull all this paint out if it starts getting gunky, okay? But really, I just keep refilling just this ever tiniest bit here. That's all it takes when you're blending, huh? Yeah. That's about it. All right, so I'll put all my initial spots here. All right, so, and again, I'm just gonna do two of these chairs, so I'm gonna go ahead now and wipe most of the paint that's on me, off of me. I'm gonna put the other one back up here and I'm gonna start with my yeah, other color. Yeah, it is color. real cute that you both are wearing aprons today like you're not gonna get paint on your I, Well, I have an apron on and I'll probably get paint all around me and not on the apron, because that's how I roll. Okay, I feel real good about my blending here. Looks very nice. Um, so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm actually gonna add back some of the farmhouse, which is that bright white, and then I'll see if I need to add any darkness with it. Teresa, I would suggest going on the underside of that little wrong thing there. Here? Okay. Yeah. Stretch the bar. All right. Because you got it on that one and you didn't on this one. See, that's what I'm here for. Nitpicking. That's all right, Sue. I can't see Sue's here to eliminate our problems with customers before they happen. That's right. All right. So now, where no? I was going in the dark and was layering in 
the next lighter color you into the dark, on it. I'm kind of going to do the same thing in yeah, reverse. I'm going to go to my lightest areas. I'm going to go to my lightest areas, and I'm going to add my bright white into them. Literally, slap that thing on. All right, what was I doing on here? I'm going to take some of the lighter fit as well. You see how that just sort of gave it a, a lot of brightness, but it still blends really nicely. That did brighten that up. Okay. So we're just going to go in some of these lighter areas and add a little bit more brightness to it. You mean the darker areas? No, I mean the brighter areas. We're going brighter to go brighter? We are going brighter to go brighter. Whoa. Stop my soft saw. Right? Do you soft saw? Okay, you do. You do. So that keeps our contrast by not going to the dark areas with our white not going and to the staying dark into, so we bring in our dark areas, we put the darkest and then the next darkest together. And in our light areas, we go with the brightest or the second brightest color and then add the brightest. So we're really going to stay one tone away from each other throughout this process. Gotcha. really hard to blend colors that are really far away from each other. But if you blend them when they're close together, it's a lot easier. That looks really pretty. That looks nice. All right. And so I've got this bright here, and this is dark over here, and I just want this brightness to kind of come over a little bit. I don't necessarily want to blend it in the dark. I'm going to blend into the bright, okay? And that's going to end up brightening the whole area. Uh, Linda Oliver wants to know why you spray water on before you paint. So the water helps it blend. This chalk base paint, it's chalk and clay, but it helps keep my brush really moving across the surface so that I get nice fluid streaks and blends versus choppy hard lines. So if you're not happy with your blend, you're probably not using enough water. Exactly. Hey Linda, thanks for watching us today. I hope you're enjoying. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate y'all watching. How are you guys feeling about this? Let me come in a little closer. It's getting there, it looks really neat on camera. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think this is going to be really pretty with that fabric. You see it? What do you guys think? You liking it? Very pretty. You feeling it? You feeling it? And I do like the fact that you can still see the, the greens in the wood. Yeah, the green girl. That almost looks like intentional too, which I'm not Okay, and so I'm just going to hold up the fabric and mirror it so you can see kind of how they blend together. See how they coordinate? So pretty. Yeah, very nice. Like the little, little, little stems on your flowers. Yeah, so it's really pulling this out, right? And this has a lot of coloration in it too. It's got these lighter colors in here. So my tabletop has this in here, right? But if I go to these little flowers, it also has this in here, right? And then it's got this creamy, bright whiteness to it as well. Does that make sense to you? Yep, and this is a four seater, so it's yeah. just the perfect size. And because my table is really basically done, I'm just gonna help Teresa finish off some chairs. Awesome. But see how fast this tabletop went yeah. versus me having to, and it's got really solid coverage, versus me having to um, do multiple coats. Now I do need to let this dry, and then I am going to add multiple layers of top coat. And of course, probably. do the base too. And I got to do the base. Yeah. So I'm probably going to put about five layer, five very thin layers of top coat on this yep. to really provide good. Um, protection. You go flat out flat? Probably. You want one of these chairs or are you going to finish I'm 
just kind of work with her. So there's a, that's fine by me. There's one over there already. Now we need to sort of look it out. And so she's been, she's been um, adding light and dark. And so, I, or she's been adding mostly darker colors, mm -hmm. kind of the darkest moving up to the light. And so I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some of the brightness and so that it matches the brightness that is in the table and in the fabric. Cool. Um, actually, that one only has the first color on it. It needs a little underneath that that center uh, spreader. Uh, this underneath the center. Then I am going to work with her. Stretch, stretch. <laughs> okay, so I picked up some of the cloth tub, which is our second to lightest. So I know you probably think that this seems like, well, where you're adding like five coats of paint, but really Oops. we're not. They're such thin coats that it goes much faster and is much easier than doing full adhesion coverage. It really does wobble on this little wonky table. Yeah. I got it. Definitely got to put the new top on that table. Yeah, we got that one for free somewhere, didn't we? Can we find it in the dumpster dive? t-shirt we need something about dumpster diving. dumpster diving divas that's it Although i don't think we can coin that phrase but i don't think it's just not I'm under the chair, so I'm seeing everything underneath that's not getting painted. I don't know how. I see the one over here. I'm looking at under the, the back of the rungs, uh, the back, the ladder back. What about it? Yeah. It's all white. So you probably saw Sue do it. I'm going to change the camera angle. Hold this, please. Um, literally, when I'm working on chairs and I'm working on these naughty little rungs, um, I just sort of flip brush. Slap that paint on. Literally. Like just slap it on. Yes. That's exactly how I do it. I go home looking like I have paint confetti all over me. It's fun, isn't it? It is actually really fun. You can sit there and just scratch it off all night long. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Pick it out of my arm here. You can really do that just about anywhere on here. I need that fixed right there. It's going to be crazy. Better? Thank you. And honestly, when this is done with this layering look on this, it's going to look a lot like, like a restoration hardware type piece. Oh, that's true. I like this on top of the food. Cool. Put your drinks in the fridge. Brilliant. There's an extra one of these in there. Awesome. That's for me, pretty and me. Nope. Alright. I just mean I guess it's fine. I didn't technically pay for it, so <laughs> if someone really wants to drink it, I ain't gonna be too upset. There you go. Alright, what are y'all thinking? I think it's looking pretty neat. I kicked Teresa out of her spot apparently. That's all right, I was not on this chair, now I'm over here. Okay. We're doing it, we're tagging the girl. How about you? You're the Bob okay. Ross of furniture painting. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to paint this. Way to go, day. Nicole. <laughs> it's a happy little chair. Happy little chair. Happy little chair. Happy it's just placed right over here, almost as exact as that. I probably want to be here for Oh, they sold my box. The phone one? Yes. Oh, they did. They just I don't know how many they had, but they're sold out. Oh, the phone box. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm sure you were. Okay, that's all right. Okay, that's all right. I was very disappointed. I had great Halloween plans, man. We'll find you one. Anybody knows where I can get a full size phone box? Police like box? Ones ones like, kind of? like, I need to make a TARDIS, a life-sized TARDIS. TARDIS. Must have TARDIS. 
<laughs> I'm waiting for the questions. Oh, come on, there's got to be some Doctor Who fans out there. I keep passing all the statue places and I'm thinking, I really got to stop in and ask them. <laughs> I need, I, I, I have this, this urgent need for a, okay, it's not urgent, but. I can't say, is it an urgent need? It's, really, it's an urgent want. It's an urgent want, yes. yes. It's an urgent want for, I want to do, if anybody, if I have any Doctor Who fans out there, I want to do my yard like the Don't Blink episode of Doctor Who. Dun, 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 dun. And I just saw it yesterday and it creeped me out. <laughs> Literally creeped me out. Well, so I'm glad your TV out. tastes are getting better. <laughs> <laughs> like I had, I had my chills just from watching a little snippet. And I'm like, oh, need it, need it. Yep. I've wanted this for a couple years and I saw one of the companies we ordered from had these red foam boxes, and I'm like, I can totally paint that and make it a blue police box, TARDIS. Because, you know, you paint. And then I went online yesterday to order it, and they were sold out of them. Yeah, the nerve to buy it first. I know, what's with that? Oh, dang. Ah. Sorry. And they're probably just gonna use it like a boring police box. I mean, foam box. Yeah, they're gonna use it the same old boring reason it was made. I was gonna have that playing looping coming out of the trees and then have some like, you know, the fog machine rolling off. We have this giant oak tree in the front yard. I was gonna have um, rolling fog coming off the oak. Like the way she described it was genuinely creepy. It's so awesome yeah. in my head. Need it in real life. Okay, not need, yes. want. Just a want. Nicole, you need to watch some Doctor Who, man. Come on now. Just go on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and and search for Don't blink. Doctor Who. Don't blink. <laughs> and then tell, search for the one about the kitty too, because that yeah. was just funny. And then after you watch the Doctor Who, don't blink. To like chill yourself out of it. To like chill yourself <laughs> out. Then you have to look for Doctor Who, don't blink cat. <laughs> So the idea is that they're they're weeping angels and they're interdimensional creatures. They're not really concrete, but they can only move when they're not seen. So if you blink, they take they, a step forward. They can take a step forward. So Maybe. so it's like chills again. it's like you're here and then you blink and you're like here. In your face. And then you're like here <laughs> and then you're like there and then. Yeah. And then they, um, and then when they get really close to you, they break out these giant, their big wings and their fangs, and they're like, ah! and they're like big, the sharp, pointy teeth. Oh. Hi, Lily. Hi. Hi. Discussing Doctor Who. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because every show about DIY painting should talk about Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the angels? Yes. 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 And then that one with the kitty. The don't blink cat, where it's like here and there and there. Oh, oh, so yeah. Yeah. Here. For me, if it involves sci-fi and or cats, I'm John's usually... leaving for the day. Everybody say bye, John. Bye, John. How are you? Bye, John. Kind of like you. It's all right. I don't have to employ you. Whoa. You no, I don't. No, Most I do. Of us. Oh, wait, don't you have some bad parking to do? Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> I was like, hey, oh, I'm pretty good now. It's a band. Yeah. I was going to ask you, how's the 10 day review of the, of the mom vehicle? I actually really dig it. I've got to say. My husband and son call it something appropriate, but I'm going to say it's a shagging wagon. Bye. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is it a shagging wagon? Yeah, yes. Basically a shagging wagon. We're going to go, well, it's even worse than that. Yeah, I kind of ground both my son and my husband, I think. But I like it. You know what? The same person that said that, they each borrowed it like five times to do things with it. Hmm. Yeah, what things? We don't, we don't know. Like all their own stuff and a lawnmower and a this and a that. This and the, the soccer ball. The mobile. It's phenomenal. I still need to get you a doggone moving blanket or two. 
Get me what? I'm moving moving blankets. blankets. I know. Got to keep a couple in two. And they're, they have holes in them. All right, we're, oh, whoa, look at you, girl. It's pretty it's really pretty. chair, I think. I love the shape of these two, and I love the detail. And of course, like we do with everything, we will be lightly distressing to kind of pull some detail out where the yeah, etchings are. Stuck my arm right in that, so you'll probably have to blend right, right there, right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go one of the to dry these out like we usually do yeah and part of that you can but honestly I like the blends better when we let them sort of dry on their own um, and I find that when I go to do my top coat later that if I do that if I let it dry on its own let me kind of turn this on so you can see. if I kind of let it dry on its own then I I run less of a risk because it's dried all the way through I'm lifting some of the blending as yes. I'm applying a water-based product to it. I think that's my issue. I feel like I just, I don't know. I think I just want to blend it. I just have to practice more. I mean, it does take practice. It's yeah, not, for sure. It's not yeah. like, I think I'm going to blend today for the first time ever. Exactly. All right, I'm going to move the camera a little bit so we can get both of you in there. I'm all over the Maybe. Maybe. We How's move it? a lot when we're working on these big pieces. Yeah. Can you have a low battery back. signal on there too? Oh, so you should have been charging the whole time too, huh? Can we, we see everybody of, okay? To get through. Yeah, I think we can see both your chairs. Almost, kind of. Um, here, I need to back up a little. I'll move a little bit. Here. Thank you, my Charlie. Of course, I'm painting the other side of it, but you know. I'm trying to avoid giving you my back side. Nobody wants to see it. Except for baby John. I always make the joke with him that, that he likes to put me on a pedestal, but I'm pretty sure it's just to look up his skirt. <laughs> He's a man. You just did because I just did. I am officially a pebble And see, as you like when you start off, it gets it looks real streaky. Remember, I said it's gonna look bad. It's gonna look scary. It's gonna look bad. It's not gonna look like ooh, it's gonna look bad when you start. It's adding the other colors and the water and blending it out that makes it start to look good. So don't freak out in the beginning. Even though I do every single time. See, we're just, how do they have anything on here? It's the panic that keeps you focused. See, almost yeah. nothing on this brush, okay? Like almost nothing. Yeah. And that water definitely helps. And then, yeah, if it's dragging, I just pull the water. Everybody's so, gotten quiet out there. I hope that means you're all painting. And so, <laughs> and so. They're looking at Doctor Who. Right? And yeah, you don't have to look them now. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to leave last to look it up. Um, so the nice thing is, with this technique, you also use hardly any paint because you see how how thin I am with it. That like went in a little too far, so I just pulled a little bit of it out. And I've been using the same brush yes. on both chairs and the table. And I can do that because I'm just using just such a tiny bit of paint. It really does go a long way with this water. Like it really just moves it nicely. Angelic Ferguson just tuned in and she says she loves the new do. Awesome, thank you. And I 
love that like no two chairs are, will be exactly the same. Yeah. I like this. Which also makes any little pop, any little mistakes or inconsistencies with the other chairs. That it blends, like that you can't even really tell. Uh -huh. As long as the color scheme is the same, that's what we're really just going for. the base and stuff in the top coats this won't be available until next weekend but yeah it will be available next weekend just do the finishing little touches on it i got the hardest part done which is getting me to do the upholstery right. <laughs> the hardest part of any project around here is getting me to do anything to it getting it finished that's my that's my hardest part is getting it finished i try that is you do. You've got my I'm a lot like herding cats. They are doing better. Right? When you say I'm a lot what like did you say? I'm a lot like herding cats. Yeah. You're like nailing jello to a tree. And I mean that in the best possible way. I don't know what you I'm like Yes. I'm like <laughs> nailing jello to a tree. Uh -huh. Think about that for a second. What she said. Uh -huh. Difficult but precious. I just threw that precious in there so I wouldn't get fired. <laughs> Someone likes your job. <laughs> <laughs> and one, I like how she doesn't think I know that. That's why she says precious. And two, that you're gonna aim at this one, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, and then that she repeats it in case you know y'all missed it. Just like, in case you missed it, he's on camera. <laughs> like, like I'm not standing right here. <laughs> Just stay on. Woo -woo. Definitely Friday. Although it's my Thursday. I was gonna say for you Friday means like Monday, right? Yeah, pretty much. But that's all right. I'm excited to get in here in the store tomorrow and have all you folks come in and visit and shop and have some fun with us. Well, it sounds like while I was out there um, saging and stuff that you were having a good day today. Yeah. You're that right store for being. Oops. Take a Just threw my brush. Come back. How crusty did it get? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just gonna come over here and clean it in a minute. Yeah. I need to sweep the floor. But you know what? I'm gonna sand it all at the end. So if there's any little bits, I'll just sand it right out. Now too, we've chosen to go from dark to light on these. And you don't have to go that way. You can go the opposite way or you can blend it. Um, but generally, if you keep your colors, try to keep them moving in the same direction. Also. What do you think is easier? Does it matter as long as they're moving in the same? I think as long as it's the same. I mean, I'm going to say it's probably easier to build out dark. Okay. But for coverage, it's easier to go dark first and then build out light. Gotcha. Right? Because the dark is going to have deeper coverage. Right. That makes sense. Okay, I think I've hit up this whole chair now. All right, I'm gonna need that spot so I can reach this part. Okay. What do you want for me? This side right here. Here? Yeah. Okay. Sure, ma'am. I'm, I'm sitting down low so I can, I can see everything up under. Yeah, she's looking under the chair, which, you know, most people won't be doing. You're good to, if you need to right, space this over. I feel like the colors on this chair over here are changing. And not just because they're drawing. I just feel like they're changing. Interesting. Changing? Yes. Color changing paint. It really is. Just kind of coming over here to my apron. Yeah, I'm wearing a different color. Awesome. All right, so I need to move again. We are. Move it again, folks. No, you can see her. Can you see you too? I don't need to. Okay. Never mind. 
I'm on pepper ketchup on this. Yeah, all this stuff. So let's see. What can I talk about? I got like three more quick strokes. That's all right. We're, we're kind of nearing the end here anyway. Okay. So uh, we've done two chairs. We've done the tabletop. How are you guys feeling about the project today? Like and it seems like dining room tables and chairs have been selling lately. People oh, are they're so demand. popular. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's that season. It, it is, is that season. Holidays are coming. Yes. So, yeah. Holidays. I have a new, so I have a new staging video that'll get dropped tomorrow. I'm gonna do the edits. We did the walkthrough today. It's the house I staged yesterday. So for those of you who are asking would I do a video, I did the empty walkthrough um, once before I staged it. The other night, uh, was it Wednesday night? And then I staged it yesterday and today we went and did the tour of it being done. And I did drop a little TikTok earlier today. Dropped a TikTok. I dropped a TikTok. That's what the kids are doing. So I dropped a TikTok video, which you can catch on the Rave Home Staging, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Guess what I'm dropping? Her brush. Drop the paintbrush. Brush. It's all right. So, that's a huge thing. Thanks to mine, I don't know. Anyway. It feels warm in here today. I know, so warm and a hot mess, but it was so fun today. We appreciate you guys as usual. As always. We will give you the final product here when we're done. This whole set will be available next weekend at Rave Home Collection. Yeah, and we will do obviously glamour shots when mm -hmm. um, the whole set is done. I think if, uh, if you start to look at, I mean, you know, um, We'll show you the the whole set together with fabric but like looking mm -hmm. at the fabric here and in the colors in the studio they're looking really pretty together i think yeah. it's going to be a really nice set i think this is going to qu go quick it's just neutral enough with the with the wood but then that fabric's just going to give it that zhuzh that we're looking super for. farmhouse cottagey mm -hmm. i think it's going to be fun um i also ordered a bunch more furniture from classic home because our big farmhouse table sold mm -hmm. Um, the sofa, the sofa, the bench, like almost everything we ordered last time. Yep, gone. Uh, gone. Mm -hmm. And um, so I ordered several more. I'm excited about the new farmhouse table. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have three, five farmhouse tables on Woo! order. Nice. Um, and some beautiful new wooden and upholstered chairs. Awesome. That are going to be really pretty. So be sure to tune in um, every Wednesday as we drop our Wednesday ad of new products. Yes. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, have a great week. We will see you back on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Peace out. Come see me tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.